Welcome to the Identify instruction film. In this film, I'm going to take you through some highlights of the lesson and the game, so that you'll be later on able to conduct the game and the lesson yourself. What is Identify? Identify has a basic assumption, and that is that online information matters. Information that I share about myself and information that others share on me. All this information together build our online identity. The aim of Identify is to conduct dialogue with youngsters, both on information and on online identities. We believe that a dialogue is the most effective form to talk about these subjects, rather than moralizing, censoring or filtering. We believe that by building a dialogue, we build trust. And with this trust, hopefully when something goes really wrong, youngsters will come to us with their problems. The dialogue form is supported by a game. The game uses technology that is fairly modern and it's called augmented reality. The game basically is an interactive questionnaire to which multiple choice answers are possible. The game represents dilemmas that we have online, dilemmas that we meet every day. The answers are given in the form of markers. Markers are printed out signs that we hold to our webcam so that the webcam can see them. The software then recognizes the markers and reacts to it by adding visual elements to the screen. These visual elements we call augmentations. All these augmentations together that we build up during the game build up our online identity so that at the end of the game we see what is normally our own scene, which is our online identity. But before we go to that, you first need to download a few files. Don't worry, the game is not about technology. The game is about your contact with the class. It's about your life experience and about your skills as a teacher that you share during the game. But of course, technology needs to work. Therefore, it's important to test out the game before you play it in the class. You should test it in your local environment and with the person you think that should play the game. You can find everything, how to test it, in the guide, the technical guide. Please read it. Wat is je identiteit? Wat is een identiteit van iemand? 
als ik dat zeg, ja. Wat, wat um, wordt er dan mee bedoeld? Je, uh, wat jij bent, persoon. Ja, wat jij bent, hè. Wat nog meer? Wie weet nog meer iets? Met je identiteit, ja. Uh, het bewijs dat je bestaat. Het bewijs dat je bestaat. Ja, dat komt zo. En jij? Uh, wij, 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 wij. Ja, bijvoorbeeld waar je gekomen bent. Wat nog meer? Wat nog meer? Uh, ja, hoe lang je bent of hoe je eruit ziet. Hoe je eruit ziet, ja. Kom op! It's very important to create an atmosphere of trust in your class while playing the game. You could do that by spelling out some basic rules, like no gossiping afterwards, or if you don't want to talk, you don't have to talk, or you don't laugh at another person. It's important that no one gets hurt and all feel safe to say what they have to say. It also is very important to involve each and every single individual in the class in the game. You could do that by ask them to read out aloud one of the questions. You could also invite them to share personal experiences with you. 
But again, if they don't want to, they don't have to. It's also important that you involve the whole class in the discussion. You could do that by voting afterwards, so that everybody feels that their voice has been heard. It's also very important that the person who's with you, sitting behind the camera, is involved in the whole process. The moment they lose concentration, the whole class loses concentration. So it's very important that they feel part of a team, a team they build with you. You and the person behind the camera provide the game. The lesson ends after 90 minutes, but the subject doesn't. In the later stage, you can always refer back to what you heard in the discussion, or you can always come back to what youngsters wrote down in questionnaires or put in their drawings. You could also give the URL of the game so the youngsters can play it themselves, and you can ask later on how it was and return to the subject. Also, do not be surprised if youngsters themselves return to the theme. We, from the Identify team, wish you an exciting journey.